Hi, I'm Dustin Fisher, Integrated Solutions Coordinator out of our Holdridge Support Center. Today I'm going to talk to you about Command Pro Operation Adjustments and Optimization. In this video we'll talk about the Command Pro Transmission Settings. There's a couple different ways to get to the settings for the transmission. The first is touch the soft key down at the bottom and it'll bring up your transmission settings page. The second way is if you hit menu and then under machine settings you touch the transmission soft key. Once in the transmission settings page we'll go over the advanced settings first. So if you hit the arrow with the dot it'll bring your advanced transmission settings. The first one is disengage steering angle for your MFWD. You can have that at 15, 20, 25, or 30 degrees or off so that the steering doesn't disengage your auto MFWD. The one below it is auto diff lock steering disengagement angle. So you have the ability to change it from 6, 9, 12, or 15 degrees of steering wheel motion before your auto diff lock will disengage. The last thing underneath the advanced settings page is your forward and reverse speed limits. If you want to set your machine down from the top end range of forward and reverse for your transmission, in this instance, 26 miles an hour forward or 18 mile an hour in reverse. The first settings we're going to talk about is when the transmission's in full auto mode. So you can see that we have full auto selected here and you have three set speeds. You have your pedal set speed, your set speed 2, and your set speed 1. Your pedal set speed is if you touch the throttle pedal down here on the floor, it will go all the way to your pedal set speed if you hold it all the way down. Your set speed 1 and your set speed 2 are your settings for your orange rocker switch on the top of your Command Pro. Right now I have my set speed 1 set at 2.8 mile an hour and my set speed 2 set at 17.8. In a planting scenario we would have say set speed 1 set at 3 for going in and out of the headlands and we want to set set speed 2 to 5.5 mile an hour to go through the field. Reminder, set speed 2 always has to be greater than set speed 1 or they will increase at a ratio. The last settings we see in this page for the full auto transmission mode is our shuttle shift speeds. Right now we have the forward shuttle shift speed set at 3.2 and the reverse at 3.2 and they're both enabled. These settings will perform when you shuttle shift from forward to reverse and then it will take the tractor to 3.2 mile an hour. If you want to go for faster than 3.2 after the shuttle shift if you're going in the forward direction just push your uh, command pro joystick forward and it'll increase speed. The next settings we'll go over is in custom mode. Again you can see that your set speeds stay the same and your shuttle shift speeds are also the same. The button that comes active when you're in custom is the custom settings. On this page you'll see your PTO on droop, your PTO off droop, your minimum engine speed, and then you have three on and off buttons down here. These are your load anticipation buttons. So if you are using your PTO and your load anticipation is on, when the PTO switch is engaged, it will ramp your engine up to full engine RPM to anticipate the load. Same with three point and your SCVs. If you're running a planner with a PTO generator, shut your PTO load anticipation off so that it doesn't ramp your PTO up when you engage it. Also your minimum engine speed um, can be set here so if you don't want your minimum engine speed to go below 1400 
you can set that right there so that your engine speed will not go under 1400. The droop on and off settings for your PTO are set at auto. Droop is how much the engine load can go or the commanded engine speed to actual can drop before it starts dropping ground speed to compensate for the load. If you want to adjust your droop, you can go in and click on auto and adjust it to five, six, seven percent droop, whatever you prefer. Auto is gonna maximize the efficiency of the transmission. There's also a reset to default button down at the bottom if you adjust your settings and can't remember where they started and want to start fresh from the factory. The last mode is manual mode. You can see the set speeds are the same. The shuttle shift speed they're the same and the custom settings went away. In manual mode your RPMs will be controlled by your throttle lever where in custom and full auto they'll be adjusted by the load on the engine. To go along with the transmission settings you also have some engine speed settings that can go along with performing the optimization of your machine. To get to the engine settings there's a couple different ways. The first is hit the engine soft key and it'll bring up the engine settings page. You can also get there through menu, machine settings, and engine. The main three engine settings we're gonna talk about in this scenario are the max engine speed, engine speed one, and engine speed two. Your max engine speed enabled, and the orange light means that it's enabled, it will not let this machine go over 1750 RPMs. Even if we hit engine speed one, which is set at 2100, it will not go over 1750. If you disable the max engine speed and the light turns off, then it will go to full RPM in manual mode if you ramp your throttle lever up or it will go to your set speeds if you have those set. You can adjust your set speeds by clicking on them and you can go into fine increments or in large increments by hitting the single plus or minus or the double plus or double minus and it'll take it up in steps of 100 RPMs. Instances to set your max engine speed one and two would be maybe um, at the end of the field when you're turning around you want your max engine speed to be less than when you're going through the field and using more power so you could set your engine set speed one to maybe 1800 which is your field condition and your engine set speed two to 1400 which would be at the end of the field Thank you for watching the Command Pro video today. If you have any additional questions, please contact your local Landmark Implement location.